I was a very energetic kid, पहले से ही. So I had the ability to, I guess, you know, if I if I enjoyed doing something, I I could you know keep going on. I would I would be really energetic and you know keep playing all day and so on and so forth. Um, so I had that in me. I had that you know uh, natural energy in me, but I probably didn't have the drive or the the vision, the focus to channelize that energy well. Um, obviously, when your habits are not great, um, you know, when you when you're young, you're not that disciplined. You're you're partying. You're you're not taking care of your rest. Um, um, you know, you have a few drinks as well. Your system's not responding the way it should be for a sportsman. And I think it has to be um, a thing that comes from within. It can't be taught to you. It can't be explained from the outside. So, luckily, that that you know that that thing came to me itself. That. You need to get your act right if you want to be a successful international cricketer, because if you continue like this, you're just going to be one player who played for a, a a few years and then disappeared because he wasn't disciplined enough or didn't maximize his potential. So I thought, okay, I love batting. Um, I'm working hard at cricket, but how can I improve? How can I get better? What can I add to my game? And then the whole fitness thing. you know struck me and it came to me and actually i'm grateful for the fact that the the game also moved simultaneously so i started working on myself in 2012 midway after the ipl about 2013 is the time that i became too lean um 2014 i continued like that then 2015 onwards mr shankar basu who was uh, the indian team trainer and worked in rcb as well he introduced me to um, olympic lifting and you know uh, speed strength and power endurance and these kind of things and i had never experienced that before and he because i trusted him he had worked for, with me for 8 years he said trust me just give this a go and you will see wonders happening with your body i said okay i trusted him i did this for you know 3 weeks and my body just responded in a way that i never felt like you know myself ever again like the the slower self i felt like someone had just uh, you know put high octane fuel in my body and i was just flying and from then on it became an obsession i was like i'm feeling quicker i can react better on the ball i am reacting better while catching i am able to field longer periods for the whole day so i am able to contribute for my team five times more than i was before so why should i stop it and if i am leading and if i want my teammates to you know put in effort i should be there all day doing that first you know before asking someone else to do it so everything came together so wonderfully for me my own thinking my mindset the fitness change the boost through mr basu our trainer the whole thing came along so well together and i think 2016 is when i really hit my fitness peak because i want to maintain the standard that i'm playing at now till the time i finish you know i don't want to be standing in the field and not being able to move the way i do right now it's just not in me to play like that if i can't do that i will stop so that is my vision you know i want to be able to contribute till the last day i play for india the way i am doing now with the same energy the same enthusiasm so i will do anything and everything in my ability to achieve that on a daily basis it's not easy uh, i mean if if you ask me do i get affected by failure yes i do everyone does i'm human at the end of the day um so it's it's difficult to process uh, failure at such a big stage but also you have to understand that you know i i totally believe in the fact that what's meant to be for you will happen we play a sport where we feel like we are involved every ball and you are responsible to make something happen so even failure and success you start looking like we failed because of me or you know i made success uh, happen so i think somewhere or the other we need to understand that all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort as long as your intent is right your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the with the right intent that's all you can do because no one as you said no one wants to go out there and fail or not succeed or you know have moments like this no one wants to do that no one wants to experience that but for success and failure is a part of everything that we do in life whether it's sport whether it's you know in in daily life whether you lose someone close to you whether you know it's it's a problem in your job anything it is the truth of life and you need to be able to accept both with grace that's that's the thing that i've learned you can't go gung ho when you succeed you can't say oh i'm i'm the king of the world or you know we are invincible now and when you fail 
you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again so i think you need to feel the hurt you need to feel where could i have done things differently i think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve on those mistakes because at the end of the day cricket is all about that when you make a mistake while batting you want to improve with the next time you walk out to play or if you play a false shot and you haven't got an out you want to improve with the next ball and similarly for bowlers and fielders you make a mistake you feel really bad about it but then you catch one and then you feel like okay i've corrected my mistake and i think life is all about that it's it's about making mistakes on a regular basis but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity to say okay i have made a mistake i'm not going to be egoistic about it i'm going to lay it down understand what happened improve on it and walk forward because as you said you know people say things people attack you if you start focusing on that you cannot progress because those are opinions those are um, you know things that are happening on the outside um you know what opinion you hold you know the intent you played with and you need to be true to that so the most the biggest challenge i felt was being true to your own beliefs if you focus on things which are only based on success and numbers and results i don't think you can enjoy the process and we as a team we play so well because we enjoy the process we enjoy being in difficult situations and coming out on top basically what we are doing on a daily basis is competing with ourselves how good can we be when we are put under pressure it's not about coming up against someone or trying to prove someone else wrong it's about bringing our own standard of cricket higher and higher on a daily basis and setting examples the right examples for the next generation to take over whenever that happens i don't know how to explain it i mean i just hate losing you know i i basically i i hate losing in anything um that is how a sportsman is is made up you know that is a makeup of of any sportsman competing at the highest level so that's that's a given no one no one is fine with losing or fine with you know failing you accept it you process it that's different but the most important thing for me in in you know anything i do on the field is i don't want to walk out and say maybe i could have done this i don't want any maybes i don't want any what ifs when i step out to that field it's a privilege it's an honor for me and when i walk out i want to have zero energy left because that is what i'm supposed to do that is why i'm selected i'm not selected because you know i'm privileged or you know i should be comforted because i've reached the highest level no however hard i've worked for age group cricket this has to be a constant 10 times uh, hard working process on a daily basis because i'm representing my country and there couldn't be a bigger honor for me so i understand the importance of where i've come from and the opportunity i have every time that i step onto the field i don't want to left uh, leave any stone unturned like you know it's it's I I hate having the feeling of maybe I could have gone for that catch maybe I could have pushed a, an extra you know yard for an extra run I I just that I somehow can't process so it is I'm I'm actually always trying to avoid that feeling and that's why I I you know go along about my work in a crazy manner where I just have to put all my effort into every ball that I play field or I'm a part of